Some experts have a tendency to use the terms router, switch and hub interchangeably, but have you always questioned what the difference is? Hubs, switches, and routers are all devices that let you join one or more computers to further computers, network devices, or even extra networks. Separately has two or more connectors named ports, into which you plug the cables to make the connection. A hub is the smallest amount, least smart, and least complex of the three. Its work is very simple, whatever that comes in one port is sent out to the others. That's all. If a message 1 comes in destined for client 1, that message is sent out to all the other ports, nevertheless of which client 1 is. Once client 1 responds, its reply also goes out to all other port on the hub. A switch does what a hub does, but further proficiently. By paying consideration to the traffic flow that comes across it, it acquires which client are associated to which port. At first, a switch knows nothing, and simply sends on incoming data to each port, by accepting that initial message, but, the switch has educated something, it recognizes on which connection the sender of the message is placed. Therefore, when client 1 replies to the message, the switch only requests to send that message out to the one connection. By giving out the reply, the switch has learned rather different, it now recognizes on which connection client 1 is placed. That means subsequent messages destined for client 1 need only be sent to that one port, switches learn the position of the devices they are associated to almost rapidly. The outcome is, Maximum network traffic only drives wherever it needs to, rather than to each port. On busy networks, this can make the network significantly faster. Router is smartest and most complicated in three. Router is like computer that can program to understand, manipulate and act on the data. Consumer grade router can perform two additional and important tasks. After it initial connects to the system, a device requests for an IP address to be assigned to it. Then a DHCP server answers with an IP address task. A router linked to your ISP providing the internet connection will request your ISP server for an IP address, this will be your IP address on the internet. Your local computers, on the other hand, will request the router for an IP address, then these addresses are local to your network. Computer on the internet cannot initiate communications to local machines, they can only respond to communications initiated by them. This means that the router similarly acts as an effective firewall.